Morning everyone, I just missed the bus to the train station so I have to use the skateboard and spend extra time to go there. Today I'll be sketching at Little India. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hey everyone, I'm now at Little India. Today I've decided to record outdoors because sometimes it's more fun to sketch outdoors. And the first thing that happened as I sat down is I found out that the battery for my wireless mic, it uh, ran out. So I had to go and buy some replacement batteries. So that's the thing about sketching outdoors, things happen and it's fun that way. So a few days ago, I made a video on all the pencils that I have. Today, I want to make an outdoor sketch with pencils and watercolor. So let me show you the street that is behind me. This is the scene that I'm going to draw. This is a temple in Little India. The morning sun is about to come out. So later on, there are going to be some lovely light and shadows. This is a one point perspective scene. So I'm going to sketch very fast with my pencil and later on hide under the building over there to paint before the sun gets me. Let me show you the drawing tools that I have brought with me today. So this is my watercolor box. I have a small pen and ink sketchbook. My water mister. And this is a panorama sketchbook. I think it's made by Snelly. This is the first time I'm using this. my pencil and more pencils. As much as I like to use wooden pencils, the constant need to sharpen them is really inconvenient. So today I'll be using my mechanical pencil instead. I'm just going to sketch from in front of this shop here. Hopefully they don't open that early. And this is the time-lapse version of the sketch. So using a mechanical pencil is definitely more convenient when sketching on this paper. This paper is cold pressed paper, so it's a bit rough. If I were to use the wooden pencil, I would need to sharpen the pencil every other minute. And also I won't be able to get sharp lines like this. I wouldn't be able to get thin lines like this. Wooden pencils are best used for shading and they are best used for smoother or fine green paper. This is a 0.9 millimeter mechanical pencil that I'm using. And usually the selection for graphite LEDs in pencils, they are more limited compared to those with wooden pencils. So for mechanical pencils, I can only find 4B pencil LEDs, but for wooden pencils, it can go all the way up to 9B, which is the softest pencil. As much as possible, I try not to move my hand to the left side to prevent any unwanted pencil smudges. I really enjoy sketching with pencils as much as I do with pen and ink. The contrast of the pencil lines against the paper, it's not as stark compared to pen and ink against white paper. So sometimes these are softer look and feel. It's it can be more appealing when you apply watercolor over it. So as I make my way across to the right side, you can see some of the lines, they are starting to curve down. That's because there is another vanishing point on the right side, but it's out of the page, so you won't be able to see it on the page. Now the thing with drawing such a perspective scene is, well, you don't actually need to know perspective in order to draw perspective. You just need good observation skills. But knowing perspective, of course, would help make your sketch more accurate. So this is the completed sketch. It took me a very long time to draw. I'm not sure how long, but it's a really long time. So let's take a closer look. I started sketching from the left to the right. Now the main focal point is actually the temple, which is what you are looking at right now. So once, I, once I'm able to fit the temple in the sketch, I'm able to fit all the other elements in the sketch as well. And while I was sketching, there's this car that stopped right in front of me. So I drew that car in. This car basically blocked the truck there. I wanted to draw the truck, but 
that car came in later but thankfully I'm drawing at a height where I can see the shop houses that are behind here's a closer look at the details before I add watercolor I'm pretty sure it's going to be a challenging sketch to color because there are so many things going on that's the truck and the driver shop house windows are challenging as well because there are so many of them and so many lines and squares and rectangles to draw all right i'm going to paint this now i actually have the intention of painting this at home but it's more fun and challenging to paint on location so i'm going to start by wetting the paper first i'm not sure if this is 100 percent cotton paper i do hope it is because um, if it's not you're not going to be able to get those very beautiful color blends those soft transition i think this is probably cotton paper all right basically what i want to do is to put some cerulean blue in the sky there are some dark clouds here so this is burnt sienna with cerulean blue it's quite windy today my sketchbook almost flew away so now i'm going to color with this uh, sienna color here's another time lapse for this particular sketch i used a limited color palette because it's easier to use if you use too many colors it can be difficult to control so for beginners i always recommend using a limited color palette and you can learn more about the palette as well so even for me when i'm using this limited palette if i mix the colors too completely the colors would turn muddy so you can see some of the colors they have lost their vibrant look especially the cerulean when mixed with raw sienna i wanted to get that gray but if you mix that too completely you would get a muddy color so as much as possible i try not to mix too much on the palette and let the colors just uh, mix on the paper and recording my watercolor process it's actually very difficult as well because this accordion sketchbook is a bit unwieldy it's not easy to handle because the pages are so long and this paper is actually quite thirsty it's quite a dry paper so when i paint i have to use a lot of water by the way this brush that i'm using this is a rosemary pocket brush it's actually quite challenging to handle such a long piece of paper this is what happens when there is a strong wind and you are painting with this sort of sketchbook this is the completed sketch I probably took around two and a half hours to three hours to draw and paint this it's really fun to draw with pencil the look and feel is very different from pen and ink there's sort of like a more sketchy feel to it and as expected painting such a large piece with watercolor it's really challenging i had more energy earlier on in the day so i was able to draw more details on the left side of the sketch where i started those people walking are barely recognizable now at least the cars that are parked along the streets they are still recognizable this panorama accordion sketchbook that i have the paper quality it's really good i think it's a sennelier accordion sketchbook i'll confirm that in the video description below i still have the other side that has yet to be filled up so i'm going to use it with pen and ink before i give you a proper review of this sketchbook but so far i'm really loving it because it's really nice to paint with and it's really nice to draw on as well and now i'm heading off to lunch before i go home for a shower and go to the office oh there are some pretty beautiful bikes here maybe i'll come back here to draw some other day thank you all for watching let me know in the comment section whether you like to draw with pencil or not see you guys in the next video bye